Hi everyone, it's Annie. Welcome back to Bloom TV. Today I'm going to do a young adult recommendations video. Um, books that I haven't really seen many people talking about or seen much hype about on Tumblr, but that I don't know, that I want to talk about and think everyone else would like and that they deserve more attention. So the first one is Meg Rizoff's The Bride the bride's farewell and it's about a young girl who leaves home on her wedding day because she doesn't want to marry this guy that she's married to who is her, her childhood friend and I really enjoyed this brilliant I love Meg Rizoff she's one of my favorite authors and yeah it's brilliant it's historical fiction um it's obviously set in a far ago time in well it's definitely set in Britain but you can't really tell so even if you don't like historical fiction I think this would still be a good read and the character of Pell is I love her she's brilliant and she has a really good relationship with well not a good relationship but a relationship that I enjoyed reading about with the character called the hunter and the next book which is also historical fiction I would say is Mal Pete's Life and Exploded Diagram. I talked about this I think in my January wrap up. It's brilliant set in the Cuban Missile Crisis, the build up to that and about two young people who fall in love and very, it's not just a young love story because it's told from an adult's point of view well an adult's perspective on young love which I think makes it more interesting and a lot more funny actually it makes it's very clumsy and awkward and I really like that about this and I love the two characters next one is more what uh, you'd class as historical fiction is it set in World War 2 and it's Codename Verity by Elizabeth Vine and um, it's about a young spy called Verity who well whose code name is Rarity and she's going off to occupied France um, on a mission but she gets captured and this is her story telling these um, Nazi officials why she's there. I also talked about this in my January wrap up and I mentioned in there which I'm going to mention again um, because it's one of the main reasons why I really enjoyed it is that the reason I did like this so much I think is because it's not about love it's about friendship she has a love because it's talking about her relationship with her best friend Maggie and it focuses more on that than on a love or romantic interest and that's what I liked about it because I think that's quite rare these days well to me anyway and I just really enjoyed that so if you're one who thinking who doesn't really like romance books this is really good the next one is a more real life book and it's one of my absolute all time favourites and it's The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I've ruined my copy of this unfortunately, it's very buffed up and also I've written in it. Let me just, back here, oh don't read what that says but I've written in it on orange fine liner, not a good idea, not even pencil. Um, so yeah, I sort of wish I hadn't done that because I wrote about this when I was about in year 9, so I was 14 and oh gosh, I wish I hadn't in some ways, so now I can't lend it out to anyone. But anyway, I digress. Um, it's about a young girl called Lenny, well she's not young, she's 16, and she loses her sister. Um, she dies from not some kind of heart condition I think. and. Um, it's very sudden and it's about her dealing with her grief and she dealing with the relationships that are left behind when her sister dies, like her sister's boyfriend and Lenny's relationship with him. And then there's a new pupil joins her school called Jo and her rela building relationship with him. And I love the character of Jo but, and I love the character of Lenny. They're really brilliantly written and it's a very beautifully written book as well which is why I underlined it so much when I was 14. Um, that I really enjoy this and I'd recommend this to anyone. My friend just read it and she's loved it as well. She said it was one of her favourites now as well. So that was a good recommendation from me, I hope. The next one, you might have seen, I've seen quite a lot of people talk about this actually recently and it's Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Featured this in my first ever video, which was a book haul. Sorry, that must have blinded you then. And it's about a young girl who gets kidnapped and taken out to the Australian out outback. And it's, the book is a letter that she writes to her captor. And the reason I love this is because you experience exactly what the main character is feeling or the sort of she you can kind it's implied that she's from the writing that she's experiencing Stockholm syndrome and you really feel that along with her the character Gemma Gemma yeah or yeah Gemma I was gonna say Gemma or Katie but it's Gemma and just her and 
the other character and their relationship and how that works and just her wanting to escape and the writing is beautiful and I finished this in about a night I think so it's really good quite not an easy read in some ways but it is in others if that makes sense the next book is a sort of more fantasy book and it's Maggie Stiefvater's Scorpio Races you might know Maggie Stiefvater from writing uh, Sh Shiver yeah Shiver, Linger and Forever um, which I've also read but this is a lot more different it's a one-off book and it's about a girl called Puck who lives on an island which is you seem to think off the northeast coast of England or maybe Scotland and on this island which is mythical there are these water horses called Kapolishka I think is the singular and they they sort of they're bloodthirsty horses but the people train them each year to and then participate in this yearly event called the Scorpio races. A lot of people die in these races, but there is a lot of money to be won if you do win. And Puck decides to enter when something unfortunate happens to her family. Um, this is brilliant. I do, not so much the writing in this, but more the imagery that it created really drew me in. And I've reread this a lot of times. And especially, I'd recommend this now in the winter months. It's a really nice winter read. And then the last book is Serafina by Rachel Hartman. This is again a fantasy book. It's about dragons, as you could probably tell from the front cover. And it's the young protagonist Serafina she is a young musician in the count sort of kingdom of goddess where there are dragons and humans who live together although many of the dragons are banished and it's quite an unfair system in some ways and the young prince is murdered and it all blame goes to the dragon and it's Serafina gets involved in the crime sort of investigation and it's all about that and her relationship with the royal family of Godev and it's a really good book and I re learned lately that this is the first in a series so there's a new one coming out this year which I'm really excited for because Serafina is a really, I thought a really good protagonist, she was very individual and I really like that about this. And so those are all my book recommendations. I'd love if you guys could leave me some sort of young adult or any book recommendations in the comments below. And if you could subscribe and like and share this video, that would make me very happy. And let me know if you've read any of these or maybe something really good that you've read recently. So that's three things to do in the comments. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!